I'm Kelly Stanley and I work for Port Blakely. And when you visit a forest, there's lots of different types of trees. But have you ever wondered how you can tell the age of a tree? So there's a great way to be able to tell the age of a tree on a Douglas fir. Now, look way at the top. Can you guys see up at the top right there? That top of the tree, I wish I could show it a little bit better. On the top of the tree. Oh, thank you, Bigfoot. This top of the tree right here is called the leader. And every year, a Douglas fir sets a group of buds right at the top and one point straight up tall, and that's called the leader, which this is grown into the spring. And these other buds, they grow into branches. So that's how a Douglas fir grows. It grows one leader, one layer set group of branches every single year. And by knowing that, we can count the layer branches, group of branches, or the official word that we're gonna to learn today is whorls. Let's go find a tree to count the whorls on, Bigfoot. Follow me. So here's a great tree to count, Bigfoot. Will you help me count the whorls of this tree? So let's start way at the bottom. There's a whorl down there, Bigfoot. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and way up there, 11. So this tree is 11 years old, and I knew that by counting the whorls. Do you want to follow me and we'll learn another way to tell the age of a tree? So Bigfoot, do you know the most common way that you can tell the age of a tree, I think that most of us know, is you can count the growth rings of the tree. So can you see these lines? One, two, three, four, five. And when we count all the way to the edge, that would be the age of the tree. And then here is the summer wood, and then the big lines are the spring wood when the tree grows the, the fastest. So isn't that a neat way? Did you know that way? Oh good, so I taught you something. So follow me. Another way that we can tell the age of a tree is by using the special tool that foresters use. This tool is called an increment bore. And believe it or not, with this tool, we'll be able to tell the age of the tree without cutting it down. It consists of three parts. So you're looking at the blue handle, and then inside is a drill bit right here. And then inside the drill bit is a spoon or extractor. And what we're gonna do with this tool is we're gonna be able to tell the age of a tree by counting those growth rings. Hey, Bigfoot, would you help me do, use this tool? So I'm gonna teach you how to use it, okay? So go ahead and take it. And then you're gonna take the drill bit and you're gonna put it in the tree. And then you're gonna turn it clockwise to the right. And we are gonna drill this halfway through. So we're gonna to get to the center of the tree. Boy, big, but you are fast. I'm so glad you're helping me. All right, and now we're gonna take the spoon or the extractor. You're gonna slide it under the core sample. So you'll probably be able to tell when you hit it. And then take the handle and you can flip it backwards the opposite direction so it breaks off the wooden side. All right, and then he's gonna pull it out. So look at this. All these lines, they represent a year. So that's how we can tell. So we can go from the end all the way to the center of the tree and count the growth rings to tell the age of it. So you can tell other things besides the age of the tree by looking at these. And you can tell if it was a good growing season, a bad growing season. And you probably noticed that you've counted these before and it has light circles and dark circles and the light circles are the spring wood and the dark ones are summer wood. So did you like using that Bigfoot? You did a great job for your first time boring a tree. Today we learned how we could tell the age of a tree three different ways. So we learned that we could count the whorls of young Douglas fir trees. We use the tool foresters use. You remember that one? I liked using the increment board. You did a fantastic job doing that. And then we looked at tree cookies and counted the growth rings of those. So this summer, if you're out in the forest, which I know you live in the forest, if you're out and you see a stump, you could count the growth rings of that. Or if you find a young Douglas fir tree out in the forest, you can count the whorls and tell the age of it. So Bigfoot, did you have fun today learning that? You were a great help. Thank you.